Hello and welcome to a short video on how to replace the encoder that is used to drive the thumb wheel on the NC Pro Cab and Power Cab. Both handsets are, are pretty much identical so in turn this video applies to both. What occurs with the thumb wheel is the speed becomes erratic at times and it will jump around so as I scroll up it should go up nicely but as you can see on the dial things are going not as well as they should be and if I scroll back down again it's going up rather than down and, and the like. So that's an indication that the, the little encoder that's attached to the thumb wheel, which is this part here, has has failed, is, is on its way out. I quite often reckon it <coughs> to do something like a bearing on the car. So depending upon how much use, depends on how quickly it goes. I mean, the one we have in the workshop, I've not had to replace it in over 10 years. So that, there we go. Um, first things first, obviously remove all the screws off the back which I've done, I've just left all bar one. And we then identify the encoder itself. So we pull the back off and then we see this is our thumb wheel, this is our little encoder, which is what we're gonna replace. So it's soldered onto the, the front here. Um, the simple way to remove it is just simply to bend it, just like that. After a few attempts, it comes off. Trying to desolder each three, all three of those, and pull it off in one hit doesn't work very well, and you are likely to cause damage to the circuit board, which is not what we want to do. And given that piece is now defunct, and it's destined to be going the recycling, or the electrical waste recycling, um, there's absolutely no point in trying to save it. So having got that off, we can then quite happily with a soldering iron and desolder gun remove the remaining remnants of the pins that are already in there. So we'll just take up, heat them up, get rid of the excess solder. And there we have it, our oh, three holes. I'll just check to make sure we got them all clear. That will fit in their place. So next thing, obviously pull the, the thumb wheel away from the encoder. And it should be should be a nice tight fit. And then push the new one. Push the two together. It will take a little bit of adjustment and we can do that once it's semi back in place. So with the wheels now on the encoder, it's a nice tight fit. So what we do, place that back in there. And I was just initially put it back in its holder because it just helps to hold everything square and solder in the middle pin. Uh, we look at that just and put the, the lid on. I'm just trying to make sure if it's square or not. So I just, the actual wheel is square, but it needs pushing over ever so slightly to give it a bit more clearance. Leave that sat in there just to make sure it's fairly well square. Resolder those, cut off the excess. <clears throat> And it's basically as simple as that. If I now just put the centre screw back in, put the handset in, and what we should now see 
is just the throttle acting as it should do. We go up slowly, up it goes, go up quick, it jumps as we expect, put it back slowly, we go back to zero. If we carry on going back to past zero, it's still at zero, whereas before it was jumping around. And that, as simple as that, obviously just refix the other screws in the rear and away you're done. And that's as simple as that.